Welcome to a video on angle relationships and the types of triangles. The goals of this video are to determine angle relationships and also to determine different types of triangles. Vertical angles are angles opposite each other when two lines cross. They are called vertical angles because they share the same vertex or corner point. And vertical angles have equal measure. So angle one and angle three are vertical angles and those have equal measure, as well as angle two and angle four. Let's take a look at a Wolfram demonstration to illustrate this, as well as many other angle relationships. So here we have two parallel lines cut by what's called a transversal. We can see here in red, those are vertical angles, and so are the ones in blue, as well as the ones down here in orange and purple. And if we move the, the parallel lines, Notice how the vertical angles remain equal in measure. And the same thing if we move the transversal. Next, let's talk about alternate exterior angles. Here we see in red and in blue pairs of alternate exterior angles. And again, what you'll notice is they're equal in measure, regardless of the slant of the transversal or the slant of the parallel lines. Next, the alternate interior angles, again in red and in blue, are equal. And again, these are alternate interior angles. We can see those are also of equal measure. Now we'll look at consecutive exterior angles. And what we'll notice about consecutive exterior angles here in blue and in red is that they are supplementary or add to 180 degrees. Again, regardless of how that transversal cuts the parallel lines. Consecutive interior angles in blue are also supplementary, as we see here, or in red. And lastly, corresponding angles, we can see in purple, orange, blue and red are equal. Okay, let's now talk about triangles. The word trigonometry derives from two Greek words meaning triangle and measure. A triangle is a three-sided polygon, which means a triangle has three sides, all of which are straight line segments as we see here. And there are various types of triangles based upon the characteristics of the triangle. A triangle with three equal sides and three congruent angles is an equilateral or equiangular triangle. So to show that these have three equal sides, we'll often use tick marks. And if they all have one tick mark, that's showing that they're all equal. And the same thing with the angles. If this has one arc, this has one arc, and this has one arc, we would assume that those three angles are congruent. Next, a triangle with two equal sides and two equal angles is an isosceles triangle. So this side is equal to this side, and these two base angles are also equal, which makes it an isosceles triangle. A triangle with no pairs of equal sides is called a scalene triangle. So to show that these three sides are not equal, we would use tick marks. If we use one tick mark here, we'd have to use two, showing that those two are not equal, and three tick marks here to show this side is not the same length as either of the other two sides. It's also true that the angles would also be of different measure, and we can show that by using a different number of arcs through the angles. A triangle with one 90 degree angle is called a right triangle, Usually if we have a right angle, we note that by using a little square there to show it's a right angle, and that makes this a right triangle. A triangle in which all three angles measure less than 90 degrees is called an acute triangle. As we see here, all of these angles are less than 90 degrees. And a triangle in which one angle is greater than 90 degrees is an obtuse triangle. And we can see that this angle here is what makes this an obtuse triangle because this is more than 90 degrees. Lastly, 
the sum of the measures of the angles of any triangle is equal to 180 degrees. We can show this a couple of ways. We can see that angle one, two, and three are the interior angles of this triangle, but we also know that this angle two is equal to this angle two because they are alternate interior angles. For the same reason, the two angle ones are also equal. And we can see now that angle one, angle three, and angle two form a straight angle, which would have the measure of 180 degrees, which verifies that the sum of these interior angles must equal 180 degrees. However, I also like another Wolfram demonstration that shows this property. Let's take a look at that. Here it is. What we can do is find the midpoints of side AB and AC, here and here. Next, we can connect the midpoints to form the mid-segment. Next, we'll drop perpendiculars from these two endpoints. And now what we can do is fold these three smaller triangles together. And notice that angle A, B, and C are the angles of the triangle. So if we fold A, and then if we fold vertex B in, and then fold the last angle in, again we can see that angle A, B, C form a straight angle which measure 180 degrees. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching.